CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. George, um, how does it feel to, to sort of finish the summer on that kind of note? Um, yeah, satisfying. That was certainly, I think from a team perspective, that was our most complete game throughout the series. So that was really pleasing. Um, really proud of the guys in the last three games. I think it, it can be quite, well, I think 2020 is challenging because you come in for a series over a week, there's about half a training session and then you're into it. So I, not through any fault of the players, I think there can be a tendency sometimes to play a little bit for yourself or for a spot, but um, I think the guys have bought into our team, our team plans and team values so well. And that's, that's, that's really pleasing for me. It's gonna give us a headache when we try and sit down and pick 15 in a couple of days time, but, um, but it's a good problem to have. Um, what did you make of England's demeanour out on the field? Did they sort of look like a team that wanted to be there or, or be on the plane already? Uh, I, no, I think they made, I think they were up for it. They, I think they, they probably thought that we, we had a few too many by the end of our innings. But um, no, I think if you look at the way they celebrated their early wickets, they were they were up for it. I think they would have wanted to to win on their way home. And how do you think the squad sort of placed heading to to Bangladesh? Uh, really, really happy with it. I, you know, one of the really pleasing things from this series has been our versatility, I think. So just starting to see so many options with, with bat and ball. Um, yeah, just starting to have those, those extra spin options. Nice to see Cameron White roll a few, uh, roll a few overs out. Um, I don't think we ended up using Finchie, but he can do that. James Muirhead was really pleased with him again tonight. Um, he wanted mid on and mid off up. <laughs> he's just so he's just so confident in, in what he does. Um, and I thought a really smart ball to get rid of rid of Bresnan. Um, good to see him turning the ball the way he is. I thought Dan Christian, with his little off cutters and what he brings to the team, um, all all really pleasing things to see. Great to see Mitchell Stark back. I thought he's he's bowled really really well in the last couple of games, and um, we we're probably expecting him to be a little bit rustier and you know wondering how he was going to be looking heading into South Africa and into the World Cup, but it looks like he's ready to go straight up. The team you had tonight, George, I mean, how close um, will that side be in terms of the T20 World Cup? I mean, are we going to see pretty similar 11 or will there be quite a few changes? Uh, there's probably a, well, there's certainly a few in South Africa that you'd have in that, in that team, um, but um, there'll certainly be a few playing tonight as well. Few unlucky players, and maybe yeah, yeah, and you'd hope you'd hope that's the case. And I think any time that's easy to pick 15, that's that's probably not going to be a great omen for for what's to come. Um, really challenging. I think our pool's really challenging in the World Cup. I think we've got most of the uh, the Asian teams, the subcontinent teams, so that's going to be that's going to be really tough for us. Did you get a save? Uh, yep. Yeah, I do. Um, and that's that's why I'm. Not that fast about not being a selector. I think I've always, um, I've always discussed teams with the selectors, and I've got a, a really good relationship with both, so there's no issues in terming that. You don't win every battle, but that's okay. Is it hard to keep momentum, George? You know, in the T20s, I mean, you have such um, standout players, and it's quite hard to keep. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a challenge. It's a challenge for every team, but it's something that we we've certainly. I mean, sometimes you can't even remember who played in the last team, let alone. How you, well, or how you went, where it was. Uh, I think we played four last year for the entire year, so that that's that's tough. And it does quite often come at the back of a, another series, or there's a series coming up. So uh, we haven't played our strongest T20 side since the last World Cup. And saying that, you then you know you take on South Africa in South Africa, huge challenge for you guys. Yeah, it is, and you know that'll be an interesting. <coughs> Well, that, I mean, by then we'll, that'll be our, we'll have our, our World Cup squad and I assume that'll be the team that'll be there. But, um, you yeah, that'll be challenging too in, in some respects because I imagine the wickets in South Africa will be pretty different to the wickets in Bangladesh. So if um, Warner comes back to open the batting with Finch and Watson comes back to bat at three and you bat at four and Cameron White's been your most successful batsman, where are you going to play him? Yeah, well, we've just got to find a spot, don't we? That's, as you said, it's, as, as it's been said, it's a good problem to have. Um, Having said that, I think all of those guys are, are pretty versatile. You know, we've seen Davy bat in the middle order um, for most of the last IPL. Uh, Cameron's done that a lot for Australia, and he's done it really well. So um, there's no issues. George, um, Australia ranked sixth in 2020 cricket. Um, what do you think the, the main reasons for him, I suppose, for, you know, for, for being so low? Is there anything that you can yeah, pick? 
pinpoint that, that particularly needs to, to change or have a pass change? Oh, I don't think we played that. The, the most obvious one is we haven't played that consistent. We seem to draw a lot of 2020 series. There seems to be a lot of one all or two match series, which don't make much sense, and then a lot of draws. But I think first and foremost is we don't, and I don't think we're on our lo uh, lonesome. I don't think a lot of sta uh, countries do, but we don't play our strongest side. As I said, we played our strongest side in the last World Cup, and we haven't since. So it's just, um, and to be perfectly honest, you know, I, I think Pat Howard. And I think Pat Howard would say the same thing. I, I, don't, I just don't think the rankings matter. I think T20, you win the World Cup, that's what counts. That's the only thing that counts.